Hello everyone, I'm back and today we are building a jungle retreat in the world of Selva Dorada and I know I've said it before but I just, I really love the world of Selva Dorada. I feel like it is, like I think it's really really beautiful but it just, I just, I just don't think it was ever done to like its full potential, you know, like lot wise. I feel like there could have been a lot better lots. So yeah, I don't know, I just felt like doing doing a little build here and with the sort of like residential because obviously this is like a vacation world so the sims are going to come to these lots on a, on a holiday obviously <laughs> and I just feel like there wasn't that much variety in terms of like different options to stay in so I wanted to make something that was I don't know just a little bit different you know offers something different for your sims so you have like a a little bit of choice and you know like maybe a different type of place you want to stay and I'd seen this image on Pinterest of a place which I think is real I honestly I can't remember now where it is but it looked honestly really really stunning and I just loved how it was kind of nestled in the jungle and this kind of mixture of rusticy vibes so obviously like very like wooden to sort of fit in with its surroundings, but then also modern. I don't know, it's like a, it's like this sort of made to feel like you're kind of staying in the jungle, like literally in the jungle. You feel like you're in the jungle, but you still got the luxuries that you'd want, <laughs> basically is the kind of vibes that it felt like. So that's kind of what we're going with. And it's a little bit of a trust the process kind of build because obviously at the moment... <laughs> <laughs> this kind of looks like a a hut <laughs> on like this mound that comes out of nowhere. But once we get onto the landscaping, which to be honest, I think it's like, I mean, I did the landscaping for quite a while, I think. It just really brings it to life. Like honestly, like it just makes it like just fit in to its surroundings. And it just, I don't know, it just it gives so many vibes. Like it literally, I, it's almost like it makes you be able to hear where it is I sound really silly but like I don't know like I could imagine like the sound of the animals and the birds and just like running water because what you can't see is I'm building on the lot where basically behind where the camera is so the front of the lot which is like where the hut is facing is like I don't know what to call it but it's it's you're looking over like a cliff and there's like water down like right down below so yeah I don't know it kind of I feel like you know you've got these big open views that way but then you're like nestled into the jungle and there's like water so it's all just very like lots of like different sounds and yeah I don't know just would be like like a really cool experience to say somewhere like this so I just thought like doing a build like this really takes advantage of the surroundings of this lot I don't know just I don't know I just felt like it was like a cool little idea I just thought let's just go with it so that's what we're doing you know and I also imagine this place would be I mean this place would be super hot especially being in the jungle like really humid so everything's kind of small like it's just a small hut um and the bathroom's actually outside which I feel like I don't know I, I think it's quite cool like kind of vibe it's like all like modern bathroom so it's like got two showers and it's got bath toilet sink um but it's all like modern it's not like um outside in terms of like I don't know like somewhere that's not used that much do you know what I mean like it's it's purpose built with this hut so it's like it's nice just like modern like the inside of the hut as well but I can just imagine it'd be quite cool to just be like having a bath out there or something because it would be very secluded, like, you're not really going to be seen. Obviously, right now, you would be seen if you were having a bath out there. But, like I said, trust the process, guys. Once we get all our foliage in, we'll be happy days, you know? So, yeah, so I'm starting that now. So, this is kind of like, I just build it up gradually. Obviously, the hut is up on this kind of, like, mound, which I wanted to make as natural as possible. So, everything basically gets covered in plants <laughs> to kind of just yeah just make it look as natural as possible and then I leave the front quite clear so that obviously I've made that little swimming pool area and I wanted them to be able to see over the cliff 
which it's really annoying because you can't see the cliff right now but basically there's a cliff behind where the camera is so if you imagine being at that pool you want to, you'd want to be able to see that way so that way is like quite clear but everywhere else it's just going to be covered in well just like greenery basically lots of color as well but yeah just just every basically i just went through the catalog of all the debug and non debug plants for that we got with this pack with the jungle adventures pack because then it you know it'll just fit in so well and i love that um there's that like big i don't know what to call it but like collection of plants which is like one item but it's like this big well big item that you can put down but it's lots of different plants and i don't know it's really good because it's one of those items or plant items which when you put down even on a hill or a slope it kind of it, it sinks to the lowest point if that makes sense and it, there's like some plants do this and some plants don't some trees do this some trees don't a lot of the time it's because of being debug or not debug if that makes sense i find the non-debug plants work better on slopes which is a little bit annoying because obviously we have more variety in the debug menu so you kind of want to sometimes i want to be using the debug plants but sometimes on slopes they can be a little bit funny and i personally don't use mods or anything so i wouldn't move them you know like down or anything with a mod i just kind of i like to use what there is available like within the game if you know what i mean like what what basically what you can use within the game obviously i use move over it's on and cheats and things like that obviously because i use the debug menu but not like anything that's like not part of the game if that makes sense so yeah so i kind of with slopes i kind of just have to do the best you can with the plants and sometimes it's quite good because depending on what plants you're using if you're just kind of building them up it kind of all just like merges into one like it would in real life so it works really well but like i say i'd say the the plants in the actual buy menu build buy menu are better for like sloping if that makes sense so yes yeah, so you see i just put a few of them down here at the back like at the back of the hill like that big item I was talking about that has like loads of plants. So it's really good because it, it like sinks down to the lowest point. So you kind of get part of it going up the slope, if you see what I mean. So there's like some leaves sticking out the slope, which I know looks a little bit strange right now. But if you're building it up with other ones, it kind of all builds in and it kind of works because it means that there's not like, it doesn't look like there's loads of floating ones. Because that's the problem when you put plants on slopes, <laughs> which just like stick to the highest point or whatever like they just float and then it just looks a bit silly whereas if you keep building on them like you can kind of like create a you can create a vibe you know what i mean so you'll see now like like it is yeah there's a lot of plants and i do change some of them like going through like when i kind of kind of just putting down everything and then just like seeing how it works and seeing what looks best like and not samey same that's the problem when you kind of use like a limited set of plants so obviously i really wanted to use all the ones that come with jungle adventures pack because they're the ones that are going to fit in the best and it like it really does like i feel like once i started putting all this like plantage it really like nestled into the jungle like it really felt like that's what it was and yeah so like the long grass was getting a bit samey same so i do like sort of like tweak little bits especially like I don't know, like adding in little bits and adding different colours. So I, I really like the, um, I'm not sure what that plant's called, but I normally ever only use it with like the green and then the little yellow flowers. But you can see that I've used some that are like, like a kind of maroon colour. I don't know if you can see, but there's like these maroony plants, which I've like, I don't think I've ever used that plant in that colourway, but it's actually really cool. And it's nice to add that in, like I say, because it fits in still, because obviously it's the kind of plants that you're seeing in this world but just add something a little bit different because i think it can get a bit samey same obviously if you just keep using the same plants just gotta like give a lot of variety you know if you want to make it like jungle vibes you know and i have to say when i was doing this build obviously like it's quite obviously like jungly inspired and 
every time my husband walked past when I was doing this, he just kept singing like songs from the Jungle Book and things like this. <laughs> I was just like, really, we were really getting into the spirit of it, you know, the vibes. But I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> he got he got what I was going with. But yeah, so it's just, yeah, just jungle. Just a nice hut nestled in the jungle, but it would be somewhere nice to stay. You know what I mean? It's not like, although it's really overgrown, it's not like not looked after. It's very well maintained. Like I like to think that it's like quite expensive to stay here. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, they're the vibes I was going for. It's been a weird week actually, like weather-wise. And I know... I'm banging on about the weather again, but it has actually been really weird. I don't know about anyone else, but we had snow on the weekend, which I was not expecting at all. Like it just, yeah, like I don't even feel like it was on the weather, like forecast or anything. Like maybe I just totally missed that, but I feel like I would have seen that if it said it was going to snow, but like that totally passed me by and then woke up, I think it was Sunday morning and it was just like, you know, like when you could, you just know it snowed because it's so bright before you've even opened the curtains. Like you can just see that it's really, really bright. And I was like, oh my gosh, like <laughs> it snowed and it really snowed. Like that's the most snow I've seen in, I don't even remember like the last time I'd seen that much snow. It would have been like a really long time ago, I think. And like, we just, we don't tend to get that much snow here. Um, so yeah, it was really unusual and it was just like that one day. Like we've ma- we made a snowman. I mean, we made two snowmen. We made one snowman and he fell over, sadly. And then <laughs> and then we had to build another one, um, but more like securely so that they'd stay up for as long as possible. And it like that snowman stayed up for so long where all the other snow melted. Like that snowman stayed for a long, long time. There's even still like a tiny, tiny little like ball of snow left (laughs) with some sticks and stones for where his arms were and his little face just in a little pile in the garden like still there still going strong but yeah I think by tomorrow it's gonna be gone that's 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 sad but yeah so that was exciting and then you know like in true British weather style the next day it's like gorgeous it's like really sunny it's it's like I don't know it's just like quite obviously like the start of spring like vibes and it's like what like the the difference in like a day that a day can make it's just crazy like it really really is yeah I couldn't believe it it's like a complete turnaround you know but anyway it's quite nice actually like it's nice when spring comes around I think I feel like I feel like the seasons are just long enough because you sort of get you you sort of you're going through winter and then you're like oh like would we'll start to like be a bit like not cold now a bit sunnier now a bit warmer now and then spring comes along and then you go through spring and then obviously you get summer and then I think just when and just as you're like do you know what I don't want summer anymore this is too hot this is too much like I just want to get cozy I want it to be autumn autumn comes around and then winter comes around but yeah so I'm just really feeling the start of spring is here it does feel like that it does this week after snow it's like the snow it's like the snow ended winter put close like closed that door and now we're opening another one but yeah so you'll see that we are yeah i've just been i was just waffling about the weather that's just very british of me wasn't it but yeah you'll see now that we are onto the interiors of this like little hut so you'll see here is the where the bathroom is going to be so it's got like it's not a roof per se it's just kind of like a awning which obviously water would get through I feel like this place obviously it would rain here but it would be one of those places where it would be so hot that the rain would dry so fast and yeah so like I don't know I like to think that you would go out there when it's raining because it wouldn't be that bad (laughs) I don't know I don't know, you're kind of sheltered. Like, it wouldn't be, like, crazy, crazy, like, rain, rain on you if you needed the toilet or something. 
because there would be like there's a big tree as well that's like over this like you can't really see it obviously when I'm like in the building stuff but there was a really big tree in the corner of this lot I put so I feel like as well that would like create quite a lot of kind of shelter from the rain if you know what I mean and I do end up actually making this hut like one tile longer you'll just see just because I realized like the kitchen I because I wanted this to be small I didn't want it to be like have separate bedrooms or like I just wanted it to be one big room almost like a it's almost like a hotel room but with like obviously everything you need to be like you know like self what's the word basically so you can like cook your food and be there for like quite a while on your own because obviously it's not a hotel like there's no other like food place <laughs> nearby so but that's the kind of you know what I mean? Like, it's not like a villa. It's just kind of like a studio space. I kind of like that. Like, quite simple. And, like, mixing... I wanted to keep using wood throughout. Obviously, because we were in the jungle, like, it just made sense. It just kind of feels like the natural thing to do. And kind of... I don't want to say rustic. It, I keep coming to the word rustic but I don't think that's really the right word. Like, just kind of... I'm just gonna have to keep saying rustic -y. you know what I mean like because it's 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 wood that has obviously been here for a long time like it's gonna get worn and I just want it to feel natural in that sense but then equally it is quite modern so like you know like that the kitchen is quite swish and everything is very comfortable inside it's just kind of a mixture of the two I don't know I think it's quite fun and I kind of chop and change. Yeah, so I ended up making the kitchen bigger because I realised that I wouldn't have been able to put a table anywhere and I really wanted there to be a table space. <laughs> that was the one thing I wanted. Like, I didn't mind about not having, like, sofa area, but I just wanted, like, a fully functioning kitchen. And then I knew that they would probably spend most of the time outside anyway because it would be so hot, like I say. And this is really just a space to come in, cook, and then obviously also, like, sleep. So yeah, there's nothing really like that crazy about this place, you know? Like, because like I say, I feel like they'd spend a lot of time outside, like lying by the pool or lying in the pool, just like chilling, relaxing. It's very much a relaxing holiday. It's a kind of like, it's not off the grid because obviously there's everything there that like, you know, there's electricity, etc. But off the grid in the sense of like, you could like turn off all your phones and stuff and be and just kind of be at one with nature or whatever do you know what I mean <laughs> those kind of vibes like if you want to just like, maybe your sims want to just go somewhere and just disconnect from from the world for a few days but still have like be comfortable not like going camping you know what I mean that's what we're going for so yeah, so there's no TV because I didn't really feel like there was anywhere a TV could go. Like obviously they could watch TV from their bed, but directly in front of their bed is the doors. So I didn't really feel like, you know, I didn't want to put like a TV on the side or anything. It'd be quite cool actually if we had, um, I think, and I think there's some like custom content of this. I could be wrong, but that'd be cool if there was those TVs, you know, those TVs that are made to look like picture frames when they're off so they kind of blend in and a lot of people have them and they I find like a lot of people put them on their above their like mantelpieces because I think some people think having a tv like on a fire like above a fireplace can look a bit like I don't know like not right I don't know like not in keeping with the fireplace so they opt to put like a I mean, you can put them anywhere, obviously, a TV that looks like a picture when it's off, so that it kind of feels like it fits in more, or it's not as, like, obvious that it's a TV, it's not just, like, this big black screen, basically, and I feel like that would have worked quite well in here, like, that, there could have been one on, maybe, like, above the dressers, even on either side, like, so they match, but obviously you wouldn't put two TVs on at once, but, I mean, someone might, but, yeah, like, I don't know, just to, not feel like there's this big screen but then I guess they've got the option to but like I say I don't I didn't want the sims to do that I wanted them to be spending their time outside and just relaxing you know like not with a tv or a computer or their phone but yeah 
So we're moving to the outside and you'll see that I add the wall decoration pieces we got from the Ferent pack, which make like your walls all dirty, which I just love. I'm still obsessed with. I'm going to use them like on repeat, on repeat, because they are just, they're just so great. And I also started adding in some greenery because I felt like actually this, this hut itself needs like, like plant growing around it because I mean, naturally it would like, there's so much greenery around it and so much like plantage that like it definitely like there'd be stuff growing. And I think it just really adds to the vibes. Like, I don't know, like imagine lying in that bath and there's just like those leaves like draping down and like you, like I said, it's the sound. I don't know why. I don't know why. Like when I was building this, honestly, like I just could picture it. I could like, like you could like the senses. Like I was like, I can hear what this place would sound like. It'd be really, really cool. And yeah, so I just wanted to just like try and tap into that. You know, you sometimes see like I'm like right now, kind of like if you when I'm when I'm turning the camera, you can see the cliff edge, like where the the swimming pool area is like facing. I don't know, like, if you saw it, like, a little, little peaks of it. So that's what I mean, like, that's why I put that swimming pool at the front there, and I just feel like it'd be really cool how it's, like, obviously put it up on a platform so that hopefully they can see over the cliff, you know? I did play around as well with, like, that, where the swimming pool is. I think it'd be really cool if it had, like, a, like, a waterfall down, you know, like, into something, like, below it. I think that naturally would be really cool. Obviously, like... In the real world, it'd be cool to make it right up front on the lot lot, but obviously Sims. But yeah, in the end, couldn't make it work. So just kept it like that, simple. But there we are, we have come to the end. I will leave you with some screenshots and see you in the next one. <laughs>